All right. So today we're going against Robert, who wanted to go with a monotype team, which I felt very worried about at first. But now, when I see what type of monotype he chose, while he has, um, in theory, um, a mount that should be considered, I was going to say broken, but it's not broken, it's just annoying. Mildly so. Um, but I, I gotta say, this is this is a cool team. This is, um, like, if you have a clear in Darmanitan and choose to go mono ice type i i'm i obligated to think that whatever you decided to do you did right um now we didn't specify of the dynamax and whatnot but i can always i can already say that whatever happens this game is gonna be problematic <laughs> because i don't have a default you're only rapid spinning so any aurora veil he throws at me is gonna stay so robert good luck have fun and I'm worried. Like I don't, I don't want to be the guy who say, you know, oh, I have a massive, massive momentum or able to win or anything like that. But I can clearly see that things here gets naturally very rough because I can't stop the veil, and he has actually quite a speedy team. <laughs> like speed enough for me to kind of just level back and forth what I want to do. Yeah, 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 did good, did good. So if I were him, I set up a veil, right? By the way, like that, this mod is going to be one of those mods that comes in and maybe, maybe get things done. But I'm just going to throw in my Auroras. I'm going to pleasure myself. <laughs> Not what I mean. Um, he's going to set up a Roar Veil and there will be nothing to it, and I'll take the same route. Because I can. Only unfortunate part from my side is I don't have a likely. So my Roar Veils are like staying half of the turns he's staying. So Dazzling Gleam, what will that do? Yeah, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Um, gonna throw him some vicious wrens here. We got some. Uh, all things considered, we got some hail to abuse. Just don't have the power to abuse it. Right now, just oh nasty plots. That's I was gonna say that's nasty. <laughs> okay, because I. I actually switched the item to be um, Life Orb instead of Choice Band. So my damage output will be lower, but doesn't seem that did bother me all that much. Um, let's see. Rotom. Yeah, electric. That's a thing. And it's clearly bulky enough to stomach a hit from me. Ooh, that's dangerous though, Chris. That's like... That's Death Wish levels. I want to own the speeds here, but there are so many mods resisted here anyway. No, we're, we're attacking this. Like any damage on the Rotom is good damage. Wow. Wow. And it tricks me. To specs, maybe? Sticky Barb, that's. Um... <laughs> I mean, come on, that's actually kind of cool. Um, let's see, did his veil end? Oh no, wait, didn't see it. Um, he has a risk of losing his Rotom. He decides to take that route. Yeah, yeah, now my Veil is gone. So Sticky Barb is clearly worse than... Let's see, Todo... So, oh yeah, yeah, that, that looks like a Todo Ser Saruga, if I ever saw one. Um, and this guy learned Soul Stance this generation. 
That's kind of problematic. <laughs> now I have absolutely an item worth noticing. Um, I could bring in Iskander, but... I just... Huh, I don't know what he wants to do. Or how aggressive he wants to be. I think I scare him with this. Whirlpool. Oh, so it's a trapper. That's... Um, that could be annoying. Autonomize here. I think it switches out. If I were him, I'd probably take that route. This total Saruga is gonna be... Oh, wait, no! Buddy, no! You got me! Fuck! Don't... Damn it, Robert. I wanted to see this through to the end. I really did. Plus Darmanitan and whatnot. Uh, never mind. A damn shame. Damn shame. Anyway, guys, all these favorite course watching. I hope you enjoyed this game, even though it was really short. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll get them next time. <laughs> Until then, guys, as always, take care.